code and with an explanation, a proper explanation. Right? So we will create a report which displays two parts, each part containing two lines and each line containing one field. Okay. So we will just go here. So we have the second test file. Now this again we will add to our menu gateway of tally. So before we do that, isn't it necessary to write the comments? So two semicolon indicates comment. This is to demonstrate the utility of interface definitions modifying menu gateway of tally using hash open square bracket hash menu colon gateway of tally now since we already know this we are not going to search for it enter adding a new menu item to gateway of tally and we'll say add now uh, the previous code we wrote added the first detail at the end of quit that's it's after quit uh, generally when you just simply say add it does it appending it does it at the end of the menu so now we will learn to do a placement we just talk about the menu item being a very peculiar kind of uh, discrete behavior of uh, having a tdl a uh, discrete behavior so in the tdl the one which we saw we just simply added the first tdl and by default it went to the end so now we will place where we want to add. Where you want to add? So first we will go to gateway of tally. And we will say I want to add it after or after multi-account printing. So in this add where after. Add key item after this. What you want to add? Demo TDL. What is the shortcut? So we'll just see. D is use E. We can use E. What you want to do? display what you want to display my demo report fine adding a new key item to gateway of tally after multi account printing Now we have declared here, so we will define open square bracket, report, report name. Now what does the report contain? Form. And now we will give a different name to this form. We will say demo 
then we give the form definition demo form contains part now as per our code we need two parts so we'll say demo p1 and demo p2 which means part 1 and part 2 just know the naming conventions we are giving is the way we can remember them. Part demo P1. Each part should contain two lines. So line demo line ln1 you see this comma separated demo ln2 so this is comma separated single list attributes now line definition demo ln1 contains field demo fld1 one and the field will contain a set as this is first field in first line of part 1. So now we will be able to identify what is getting placed where. Similarly now we will have to define line 2. Open square bracket line demo ln 2 field demo fld12 this set as Please note the uh, coding standard and the naming conventions that we are following. This is second field in first line of part one. Okay, so we finished part one, now comes part two. So now we have to define the part 2. Open square bracket. Part colon demo. P2. Contains line. So demo. LN12. and demo and then 22 now define these lines line demo and then one contains field This is first field in first.